Hey guys and girls, this is Gordon Overkill and this guy here is once again the hero of the series Gordurian, the sharp-eared high elven elementalist who started his adventures more than a month ago on YouTube and who has finally now reached the last level of the game, also the last level of his development, level 50 is the highest possible level. And in this very episode, Gordurian is trying to close the Chaos Gate and win the game. So. Let us see where he stood. He stood right here on the downstairs to a D50. He is prepared, he is well prepared. I think his main e enemy in this episode will be corruption. He is already quite corrupted, but he's got still a couple of uh, means to deal with corruption left. So I, uh, I hope he will be able to do it. He is very well equipped with Vanquisher, the Fast Slayer and other great items. He's got skilled weapon talents, swords expert, started using two-handed swords, he's rather well uh, trained with, uh, with, uh, with ranged weapons. I think he's well prepared. He's got a couple of nice spells. I wanted to check this shells if maybe he has got the mystic shells spell, but it does not seem so. What spells has he got ready? Teleportation. Strength of Atlas. He is strained at the moment. I do not want to be strained at this level, so I will cast at first Strength of Atlas a couple of times. So, out of power points, but that should be enough for this level. So, now we are not burdened anymore, have got full speed for our task that lie ahead. What other spells are important? Teleportation of course. Uh, the slow monster might be nice. Magic missile is great to have. Magic lock. Lightning ball will... Oh, too bad he has not trained it yet, but that might be an interesting spell for this level. Uh, Improve fireballs, also very nice. Ice ball, all those ball spells. Of course, his attack bolts, maybe darkness. That's the spells he is going to use. Also, his uh, skills are very well trained. I want to see before we really start with uh, with fighting. Uh, I, I want one last time to uh, identify all our items. And see if there are maybe some more potions that I want to drink. Troll blood, of course. Oh, but oh no, he's bloated at the moment. He cannot drink anything, which is a little problem because his means of corruption removal are mostly for drinking. Uh, where is his uh, scroll of chaos resistance? I think he had got a single scroll of chaos resistance left. Here it is. This scroll has to be blessed just in case we need it soon. Dip the scroll of chaos resistance into a potion of holy water. Success. Just in case we need uh, our penetrating weapon. Where is it? I want to broadsword of penetration. I got a little destroyed during the adventures but he's got that for a very long time now and I want to use on it uh, all these uh, scrolls of uh, whatever enhancement that I've got. Increased melee accuracy for example. Um, increased melee damage. Any more of this? I do not think that he has got more of these girls left. No, does not seem so. However, what I want to do is put away the ancient mummy wrapping, instead equip the red dragon scale nail. What I also want to do, anything else? Well, for the moment change back to the to um, a vanquisher. Ring of Slaying. Well, I think as a second ring I would rather wear the Ring of Regeneration. 
or maybe also this uh, nice ring of speed. I think I I go for the bonus speed. And I want to check have I still got a bow left. Yes, two bows. Not the best ones, but at least uh, those are bows. And I'm wondering why I am still carrying this uh, uh, additional crossbow. Makes no sense, to be honest. So, now we are ready. Let us at first check the right side of the level. This is uh, not the final side where we uh, will have to fight the final fight, but uh, can still contain extremely dangerous monsters. Remember what Godizzle met over here. Well, Godizzle was extremely slowed down at that point, but he had an artifact guardian on this level. So. Uh -huh. Door is stuck. Large hammer. I would like to close this door left of me. This uh this corridor by using a door, closing it and locking it with magic lock. So and this is the place where we start. How many digging castings do we have? Let me take a look. Um, none on the last page. None on the second. None here. One here. One here. We have just got a single wand of digging. I would like to have a little more of the spells, so I use the scroll of charging in order to charge the wand of digging. Where was it? Uh, oh, come on. I have to remember this because digging will be an important spell for this level. Um, here it is, second page. And now it uh, it has got four chargings, which is still not enough to be honest. But uh, however, we will start with a uh, with a pickaxe. And now we use the wand of digging to get into that direction quickly. I'm glad that this level is even diggable. In one multiplayer tournament I had a last level that was not diggable, which was a lot harder. No, it was not multiplayer, it was my last game winner. So, the rest, you feel corrupted. Whispering of Chaos Thoughts. Learning, willpower. Okay, learning plus four, willpower minus six. Okay. That's not the most horrible thing that I'd love. Get rid of it anyway. Here we are. The first enemies in this room are, room are the Chaos Mutants. We want to kill them quickly with a Wankfisher. Greater Chaos Servant can see us. And uh, let us check if they can all attack us. Can they all attack us? Hostile, hostile, hostile. Seems so. I guess. I have to kill a couple of them from this rather safe position. And while I do that, I will check how my health develops. Okay, I get hit from time to time. These guys all have corrupting hits. Ah, uh, what was that? Critical hit. I think that's not the best way, maybe. Anyway, I'd love to close that corridor. Uh, I have to 
just need a empty space on the ground. But uh, I'll drop stuff. Nice if they would not do it. Come on. It's dead. Oh, too much to kick away. That we can kick away. Money, of course, too. Now, zap the wand of door creation once again to this place and lock the door. Magic lock. We are down to satiated status, which means, in principle, we could now the ring from a potion. Saying not the worst. Ball lightning. Just take it. And the shot ball. So here we've got a couple of ghost lords. We want to kill them with undead slaying ammunition if poss possible. Quarrels of undead slaying. Nice. Come on, hit him. Critically. And he's dead. Nice. And this guy's dead too. Next is female chaos warriors. We will pierce them with uh, ordinary quarrels until they are in the infight. Get ourselves a little advantage. Okay, they all attack now. Even the Balor. Hostile, okay. Critically hit him. And I do not want to attack more than one at a time. Severely. Okay, he regenerates rather quickly. Very quickly. But now he's dead. Now, the Chaos Wizards. First one vanquished. Second one vanquished. Uh, anything we might need here? Oh, no, nothing. Eventually the longsword, but that's not very likely. Come on, Balor. And at first, this guy is standing in the way. Where is the Balor? Where did he go? Oh! Hello! Now we need either humanoid slaying quarrels or demon slaying quarrels. Or maybe we start with arrows. Missed him. Missed him. Missed him. Ah, uh, that was nothing. Demon Slayers. Yeah. Exactly hit him. Uh, Human Slayers, also nice. But rightly. What was that Demon Slaying? I uh, missed what I was looking for. Ah, oh, come on. Open your eyes. Dragon Slaying. Oh, we lost so many human slayers. Here, that looks nice. But before I use those, I will bless them so they survive a little longer. I'm glad that we are really quick, we can outrun these guys. And, oh, okay, one hit at least. There were some two demon slayers. Critically hit. One more hit and he will be dead. Just in case you didn't know, those Balos are definitely also a kind of 
enemy that we do not want to melee. They do very big damage and uh, very corrupting damage, and especially our character who has a serious problem with corruption at this point of the game does not want to be corrupted any further. So let us check the quarrels. Have we got humanoid or demon slaying quarrels? Can we hurt him with ordinary Eternium quarrels? Because I see we've got a whole lot of them. Let us try that. At first I need some more holy water. Dip water into holy water. Okay, we do not have that much, but hope it's okay. Into holy water. Dip now the quarrels into holy water. Now see how they do. Critically injured. We can at least injure him with these. I would prefer to hit him a little more often. Critically. And he's dead. Nice. <sighs> Low damage, but they do damage at least. So I'm happy if those guys here drop us some uh, ammunition, because our ammunition is not the very best. We lost so much of the nice ammunition in the mana temper, that's a little annoying. In hindsight, definitely. Pick up all this ammunition. Kill the Chaos Warrior. He's dead. Nice. Uh, you know uh, corruptions? Nothing that I see now. We're down to L. I think we were also before. Metal cap might be nice, take that with us. And here is the lever which we have to handle. Yes. Starts the brim with magical energies. But it's not the only one of this kind on this level. Oh, poison hands. Hmm. What do we do about that? Can we keep it for a time? Or do we directly have to remove it? We just have to remember we could just equip, unequip Iron Fist and therefore equip a pair of thick gunnets. That's why we are carrying, carrying them with us all the time. So, just if we want to melee anybody, we might uh, um, change back to our other gunnets. So, from here on, we go to the top room. That's on this level, yeah. A zap, the wand of digging, the last two charges that we've got. Zap it once more. So, the rest we have to dig by hand. And here we are. This is the next room. Again, filled with dangerous chaos mutants. Of course, have to vanquish as quick as possible. Oh, not go in there. Stupid. From time to time, we get hit, corrupting hit. Oh, not go in there. Uh, I think we've already emptied quite a lot of this. Uh, we made something like another level uh, from time to time. That's not a real level up, you just get some skill increases. 
So and now use wand of door creation here and close the door with magic lock. Okay, at least we did not have to fight so many of them. What did they drop here? Hmm. Might want to take the broadsword. Sound key. And the potions. Oh, quickling blood. That's good. We are gonna bless it right now. And drink it. Even more speed, that is. Potion of quickling blood into potion of holy water. And then drink it. Where is it? Here. That brings us to speed 172. We are a rocket on legs. I think that Blessed Eternium Coral should be good enough to kill the Ghost Lords. Nice. And the last one. He's also dead. Good. Now continue shooting Chaos Warriors. Okay. What do we want to reuse next? I think soon we're going to need this. Yeah, the Balor is already on its way. There it comes. Come on, Balor. Soon we will be done with the first Balos. I want to check what else quarrels we have. We have lots of Eternium quarrels. I would prefer a couple more Humanoid Slayers. Or Demon Slayers. Here, four Blessed Quarrels of Humanoid Slayer. That's good. Moderately damaged. Yeah. Severely damaged. We want to see. Hunting, thunder, dragon slayer, under slayer, construct slayer. Oh, come on. Ten quarrels of demon slaying. Nice! But we definitely have to bless them before we use them. That's the stack I was hoping to find. So, come on. And he's dead. That was good. So, which means we have already killed the first Balos. It's a good start into the into the final fight, I think. Scroll of increase melee accuracy. Just in case, I might use that one to uh, improve our sort of penetration even further. Yeah, by now it has already got plus three to hit. But we will continue vanquishing at least for time. And uh, now that we are not satiated anymore, I will check for the uh, other potions to drink. Trollbot. Uh, potential beauty, why not? Does not hurt. Potential dexterity. Mm. Youth. That recovers some unnatural aging. Potential willpower. Potential learning. Oh, this all just potentials. That sucks a little. Potential strength, well, potential training. Uh -huh. Exchange, this learning. Mm. Is there anything actually useful among it? 
lots of extra helium. Those will be useful. Mm. No, nothing really useful. Well, however, continue. Eternium corals. Oh, these are some nice Eternium boots. Plus two, plus five. I want to check if they are better than mine. My boots have got plus zero, plus six. So plus two, plus five is even better, I think, at this part of the game. So drop these. Want of asset. Cool. And handle this lever. So it seems that we have uh, succeeded our quest. So if we could now teleport back to the to the stairs, what happens? Oh no, it was uh, not successful. We have to continue with what we started doing. So let us see if there is maybe a bar law somewhere around here. Not here. Handle. Then get over to the other side. Here he is. And we've got some demon slayers for him. Slightly injured, moderately, severely, severely. And he's dead. That was easy. Nice. So as long as we keep a good stack of uh, slaying ammunition. I think we are well prepared. So, seems that we won, but once again, if we try to teleport to the to the stairs, what do we see? Oh no, again the same thing. So, what happened this time. First lever has been pulled and here we've got another Balor. Slightly injured, moderately, severely and he's dead. Nice. By the way I want to check our corruptions. Anything new? Not at the moment but we are already very corrupted. I think it might be a good idea just uh, remove it a little so we do not turn into something G-like. Read the scroll of chaos resistance. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, that looks already a little better. Continue. Handle this. So, what happens now? To save some turns by teleporting. Once again, one of these annoying balos. It's not here. So he will once again be over there. Miss him slightly. Come on, kill it already. Severely. Critically, we're out of ammunition. Let me start from the bottom. Well, oh, we just use those four humanoid slaying arrows. Critically, still. Okay, those were my humanoid slaying arrows. And he's dead. Okay, that was a little close. I really did not think that this would happen, that we would get short on uh, 
playing ammunition. There were times when we had lots of those and I was looking forward to pierce those Valos from every direction, but uh, we lost a lot of them because we had to use them against the enemies that we met earlier. And And we lost a lot to those traps. And teleport down there. Slightly, moderately, severely. Come on, hit him critically. Oh no. Hit, that would have been nice. Have we got no other appropriate slaying quarrels? Well, anyway, we changed back to the arrows of demon slaying. Come on, kill him. And he's dead. Nice. <laughs> Wonderful lightning. Well, take it with us. And once again, it seems that we have succeeded on our quest. Let's see if. Uh, this has maybe been the final time. Ah, oh, no. Once again. <laughs> of course, we knew that because uh, there's one guy that we did not meet yet. Pull the lever. Also did not count how many we did find fight so far. This is also an ordinary battle. Come on. Slightly. Come on, hit him. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, that was horrible. Have we got any other quarrels to use? Oh yeah, there they were. Okay, this guy needs some extra treatment. Fast layer? No, not fast layer. The bow. Oh, come on. Demon slaying arrows. Moderately, severely, critically, and critically. Ah, we need more. I'm glad that we are so damn quick here. If we hit him with those, that might be enough. But we do not hit him. Two arrows of demon slaying. Let's check these. Ah, oh, come on. One arrow of humanoid slaying. Uh, you are not doing very well, my friend. to hit these guys otherwise this will take an eternity oh oh whoa, whoa, that's nice a stack of three quarrels with the fast layer chances are not too bad and he's dead nice I will eat this fresh because I do not want to get hungry while fighting a Balor and handle the lever. Now, maybe this was the final fight. Oh, they were getting really short on Demon Slayers. That sucks a little. Because the most dangerous enemy is yet to come. Just take a short look at the clock. Wait. We are already playing for 34 minutes, so I'm quite sure that the program will soon stop the recording. Though I do not want uh, to uh, spread this over two days again, so I, I will stop this episode at this point and then directly continue with another one to see if Godurian will be able to finish the game. So, see you directly now with episode, the last one, uh, two. 
Bye, everybody.